my name is Angela Petrilli and I'm here to show you some of my favorite songs on guitar in this live stream show that we like to call the Riff Rundown. Here with my friends at Fishman who help me week after week run these awesome lessons and this one's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to be learning I'd Rather Go Blind by Etta James. Such a beautiful tune with a really cool waltzy feel. Very beginner friendly as well. We're only dealing with two chords which is really great. So. Let's go ahead and get started here. So get your electric guitar, let's go ahead and put that in standard tuning. I've got my Strat with my Fishman Fluence pickups here. If you wanna learn more about all the cool Fishman gear I use in these lessons, you can click the link in the video description below. So those of you who have tuned in before, you know I like to ask a question before we get started. So let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite song. Let me know what your favorite song is. So go ahead and put that in the comments and don't be shy. Everyone in the comments is really, really cool. We've got a really awesome, kind community here and I just love, love, love that. So go ahead and get your electric guitar in standard tuning and let's get ready to learn I'd Rather Go Blind by Etta James. Here we go. Again, a really beautiful waltzy tune with two chords back and forth, back and forth. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So we've got here, let's go ahead and talk about the chords first before we get into that solo section. Uh, we've got the two chords of A major and B minor. So we're gonna do here, this is the way that I like to play it. I'm gonna give you different versions of playing these chords, which is always good to know. It builds our chordal syntax, which is always a great move when we're playing guitar. I like to play my A major up at the top uh, of, the, of the neck and of the fretboard with my second, third, and fourth finger. Okay, so we're gonna get our second finger here, placing that on the second fret of the D string, which is our E note. So keep an eye out for the A, C sharp, and E, the one, three, five of the A major. All right, we're gonna get our second, our third finger rather, on the second fret of the G string, which is our A, and then our fourth finger placing that on the second fret of the B string, which is our C sharp. So we're gonna strum from the A string downward, should sound like this. From the open E string, if you'd like, all right? So that's that chord there, that's our A major, done. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead now and play our B minor. This is going to be a bar chord, all right? So my beginners, don't worry, don't fret. All right, get that second finger here, placing that across the second fret of all of the strings, except the low E, don't want that one. Okay, so the bottom five strings. So the tip of your first finger should be on the second fret of that A string, which is our B note, which is the root of this chord, all right? From there, we're gonna get our second finger, placing that on the third fret of the B string, that's our D note. Third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, that's gonna be our F sharp, and our fourth finger here on the fourth fret the G string, which is another B. So again, if you're keeping tabs, love all these puns I'm throwing in today. <laughs> B, D, and F sharp are the one flat three, five of this B minor chord. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and strum that A string downward. Just like that. All right, so that's that B minor chord. So let's go ahead here. Let's get comfortable with these chords in this position. Just going back and forth between A and B minor. Now let's just go ahead and just strum these to B minor, back to A, and to B minor. Okay, so just like that. So what we could do, so we could play them there and they sound fantastic. What we can also do here is we can play these as bar chords elsewhere along the fretboard. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna get our first finger here, placing that across the fifth fret of all six strings, all right? So the tip of your first finger should be on the fifth fret of that E string, which is our A note, all right? We get our second finger here, placing that on the sixth fret of the G string, that's our C sharp. Third finger goes to the seventh fret of the A string, which is E, and our fourth finger 
goes to the seventh fret of the A string, which or the D string rather, which is our A note. Okay, so A, C sharp, and E. Go ahead and strum everything here. Now my beginners who are watching who are a little nervous, maybe a little apprehensive in, in learning bar chords, are they a little bit difficult when we first learn them? Yes, but like with all good things, it takes a little patience, right? So I encourage you to stick with it here. So what we wanna do, right? Notice how you cannot see my thumb. My thumb is at the back of the neck here, okay? The tip of it kind of sort of pointed just above this low E tuner, all right? Notice how my thumb isn't up here. Watch how the chord shrivels once the thumb goes up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Keep an eye on my fretted hand here. Notice when that thumb goes up, see how the chord begins to shrink that we don't want. We wanna get as close to those frets as we can without touching them. My second, third, and fourth finger, a nice curl to them, okay? Think of it like a bridge or like a rainbow, all right? I want the tip of the fingers to really press through on those notes, get nice clear notes here. So that's a way to think about building your bar chords is we want a good, strong foundation with that first finger and that thumb, okay? So keeping it nice and strong, that's what we want. Now, to play our B minor, I just want you to move this shape up two frets. So we're at the fifth fret with our first finger. We want to move to the sixth, now seventh fret of that guitar, just like that. All right, now what we're going to do here, as it is right now and as it stands, this is a B major. However, we want to make it a B minor. Quick move here, what you can do, simply lift up the second finger. Bam, just like that. So now that's a B minor. notes we're looking for here are B, D, and F sharp. So notice that move. So let's go ahead and do this back and forth. Again, just one strum here. Let's get used to playing these chords. Again, using that thumb as a guide to slide behind the neck. Those of you who have a, a, a Fender guitar, you'll notice how there is a skunk stripe on the back of the neck. That's a good indicator of where to place your thumb when you're playing these bar chords. I know mine is right there, maybe even just slightly under it. Okay, so using that as a, as a guide. So let's go between that A and B minor. Here we go. Now to B minor. Using the second finger to press on top of that first if you'd like. Let's do that again. To B minor. And one more time through. just like that. Again, let's go ahead and play them up here, A and B minor. One more time. And now is bar chords. So I'm gonna leave that up to you artistically where you would like to play these chords when you are playing the song. Again, it goes back and forth, back and forth between these two. So let's go ahead and look at the solo now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the solo without the chords in between. We'll go over that in a little bit, but I'm just going to play through the solo. We're going to look at it in five different parts. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play it just a little bit slower than I did at the top. Here we go. Let's go ahead and look through part one. Again, just three notes here on my beginners. Really great solo to look at, all right? So open E string, again, just three notes here, E. Get that second finger playing the F sharp second fret of the E string. And then the open A string. And this is played on the pickup in the song when you go ahead and listen to it. And I encourage you to definitely listen to the song. It's a wonderful tune, all right? So here we go. And again. Pretty straightforward here. Okay. So our next part here, we're going to do a little bit of sliding. It sounds like this. Beautiful little riff. 
fret there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get that third finger, placing it on the second fret of the A string. It's our B note. We're going to slide that up a whole step to C sharp, the fourth fret. From there, first finger goes to the second fret of the D string. That's our E note. Third finger goes back now to the C sharp, fourth fret of the A string. Strike the note yet again, this time sliding back to B. Just like that. Let's go ahead and do this a few times without the commentary. Here we go. Go ahead and combine it with part one. Here we go. Just like that. Let's do that one more time. Okay. From there, part three, only two notes. Okay, it's gonna be an F sharp and a B respectively. Get that second finger on the second fret of the E string, F sharp. And then your third finger, second fret of the A string, B. So in context, it sounds like this. Okay. So that's what's happening there. Let's go ahead and do that again. Ultimate part here, part four is gonna sound like this. Open E string, E note. Second finger on that F sharp, second fret of the E string. Open A string. Back to that F sharp. And back to A. So the whole thing, without the commentary, just a little bit slower, is gonna sound like this. combine parts one and part four. Let me know how everyone's doing in the comments. Let me know how everyone's doing. And again, if you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. It really does help the cause uh, with the algorithm and all that good stuff. And if you want to check out the, the Fishman Fluence pickups that I'm using uh, in this guitar, be sure to click the link in the video description below so you can see all the gear I use on these lessons. So from the very top of the solo, here we go. Part one to part two. three and part four let's do that again without the commentary a little faster now just like that now part five Slight variation of what we're doing here. This is the final part of that solo. It sounds like this. See how it's very similar? We're playing the same notes as we are on part four, just playing a little bit differently. So here's how we do that. Open E string to our F sharp, second fret of that E string. And then open A note. Back to F sharp. A. F sharp. A. So. Just standalone by itself sounds like this. And notice the alternate picking that I'm doing on here. Top of the string, bottom of the string, top of the string, bottom of the string. That's what we're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Part four into part five. Part five. Now, let's go ahead and do the whole solo. Here we go. So 
just like that. So if you wanted to play that solo over someone playing the A chord and the B minor, you can do that. However, if we wanted to play the chords with the solo, we can do this too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here we go. So I like to fill the space there. Why? We have a lot of room there. This is, again, a waltzy feel so that you can have that space to fill in those chords if you'd like. Will this sound lovely without the chords inside the solo? Yes, this will sound great. But again, I like to level up. Why not? Okay? Helps us with our playing and it's kind of fun. It really, really tests our time. All right? So the pickup. that solo, right? From there, notice how that A string is ringing. That gives us time to play this A chord. Whether you want to play it here or here is up to you. If it were me, I would play these chords up here because the, the, the notes of the solo are up here too, so we can keep things there and there's not a lot of movement, okay? Which is, which is, which is good. But if you want to play inversions, totally cool too, okay? Leave that up to you. So, from there, see that space that I have to play that A chord? Now, how I'm going to do this is I strike the A chord, and then I mute it with this part of my hand. So, I'm going to do that again. Mute. And then I'm going to hit the bass note of that A chord, the open A string, and then strum it. Okay? So the chord by itself will sound like this. And this way of playing the chord is gonna be through all of the chords within this solo. Okay, so. Again. Strike the chord, mute it with the palm. Bass note. Strum it out, okay? And then B minor the same. And we're gonna see that next, okay? So from there, part two of the solo. From there, this is a quick move to that B minor, but you can do it. Again, strike the chord, mute with that side of the hand, bass and strum. So let's do that again. Part two solo. B minor. Again. Now, part three, the F sharp and the B note. We're going to go back to that B minor. Again, we're strumming it the same way. Strike, mute, bass strum. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that here. Keep up. This is, this is, this is cool to do. This is a lot of fun. So here we go. One more time. Now, part four of our solo. Back to our A chord. Strum, bass, strum. Let's do that. I'm going to take it just a little bit slower. And again, if you're enjoying these lessons, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause. 
And I've got a new album out called The Voices. It's an EP. You can check it out on my website, AngelaPatrulliMusic.com. And I've got merch for sale, too. So if you'd like to support the cause, I get a lot of people asking, how can I support you and, and, and the Riff Rundown? You can buy merch and you can buy music. You can go to my website to get both. And I really appreciate it. AngelaPatrulliMusic.com. So let's go ahead here, going back to that solo with the chords. Let's do it. Go to part five, following it up with another A chord. Okay, And even through the verses, you can strum the song that way. Go ahead and do that solo from the very top, including the chords in between. Here we go. Repeat it. to get say a little bit more fancy with the strumming of the chords within the verses and the chorus what you could do is literally pick out all of the notes in the chords so that would sound something like this so you can go ahead and do that so let me show you how to do that so what we can do here Open A string with our A chord here, okay? So we're gonna strike the open A string, the D string, the G string, the B string, and then work our way back, G string, D string. And then complete the circle again with that open A string. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this nice and slowly. We're only gonna focus on the A chord for right now, all right? So that will sound like this, and I encourage you to follow along. So here we go. As I'm playing downwards on the chord, right, I'm using the pick to go downwards. All right, I'm playing the tops of the strings. As I reach the B string, my pick then picks the bottom of the string. All right, so keep that in mind here. Here we go. Top of the string, bottom, top.
Same thing with B minor. We're going to be striking the same notes and the same strings, or the same strings, rather. Go ahead and get your bar chord ready to go. I know we've talked about how to play it. Okay, we've talked about the notes that are in it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to strike that A string to D string, D string to G string, to the B string. The second we get to that B string, we are striking upwards on those strings. All right, so nice and slow. Here we go. there. So if we play this a little faster, going between the A to the B minor, it sounds like this. Follow along. A, A chord, to our B minor, Exercise to play with the metronome as well. We want to work on our speed and our timing. Continuing at the A chord. B minor. Finishing with the A chord. Okay, really beautiful song in the key of A. So that's what's going on there. Pretty simple and straightforward. Again, I am keeping these chords up here at the top because we've got the solo that's in the same general area. Keeping those chords easier, a little bit easier to switch through, but could you use your bar chords? Absolutely. All right, so again, a very, very fun song here to play. Beginner friendly as well for my beginners. I know I, I get a lot of Questions from beginners saying, gosh, are there, are there songs that are comfortable, uh, beginner-friendly songs for solos? And this is definitely one of those songs, okay? We keep it friendly. I mean, really, we don't go past the fourth fret, okay? And lots of open strings as well. So I encourage you, like I say in all of these lessons, we can't play anything fast. We can't play slow. So I encourage you, take your time with this, okay? And again, these lessons are up on the YouTube channel. You can go and rewatch, rewind, and all of that good stuff. I want you to be successful. That's why I do these lessons. I, am, I want you to be successful when you're learning these songs, all right? And I know you, that you can do it, but again, like all good things, we can't play anything fast that we cannot play slow. So before we end the lesson, let's go ahead and play this from the top. Let's include the solo with the chords, all right? So here we go, we're gonna run through it. And again, thank you guys so much. If you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna check out all the cool Fishman gear, be sure to click the link in the video description. If you wanna help support the cause, support the Riff Rundown, you can check out those links down below with my album, with the online store and all the cool Fishman gear. So be sure to check that out. So here we go from the top. song. As always, wishing you all so much success in your musical journeys. Super fun playing guitar. I think that, you know, putting out music into the world makes the world a better place. So wishing you much success as always. Again, my name is Angela Petrilli. Thank you to my friends at Fishman for helping me do these lessons week after week. Continue with the great work, everybody. And folks, have fun, and I will see you next time.